It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And there's no love lost between these NFC West foes. It's the Cards and the Rams, and it's coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. And Gordon, welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. start it's a touchback and it will come out to the 25 now here comes the Los Angeles offense and the man in charge of it in his second season with the team 14th overall in what's been an impressive career Matthew Stafford a seasoned veteran we're seeing more chapters being added in Stafford's decorated career secured a Super Bowl ring remains his respected leader and his stats they're better than ever now we just continue to watch him climb the ranks of the NFL's all-time passing leaders off of play action here's Stafford That'll be swung out wide here for Henderson. Finding space at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up and covered easily. I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody coming. Oh, he just stuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. Well, we love to say, get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Stafford. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. He's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seen the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early going. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Oh, boy, hang on here. J.J. Watt appears to be injured or at least shaken up on that last play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. That's good. Let's 
So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Back to throw, Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Stafford. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got down. caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now it's Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 14. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive has been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells that offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle, here's Henderson. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Second down and 3, ball on the 7. They run once more with Henderson. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting the tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Allen Robinson on the receiving end from Matthew Stafford. And the Rams will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go, depending on their tempo, their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. The extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7 nothing. Kick this one away. 
Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Well, here comes Kyler Murray in his fourth NFL season leading this Cardinal offense. Already a two-time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Ertz over the middle. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Now he'll escape to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. To throw, it's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. It's a gain of six, but not enough as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Andy On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. Stafford. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. And that one results in 35 yards. We see this happen so often if you're a defender. It's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And they move this all the way down to the nine. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Now Stafford. 
And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Henderson is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams field goal. Gay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. Touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. gun. Here's Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now the NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns last year is James Conner. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Murray getting this complete to counter. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Here's Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. 
And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. the gain of the keeper and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Throwing on second and eight, Murray. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. We'll go down as a gain of six, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Murray now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack on the quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. And that nearly intercepted. The free safety rolling into position, almost had it, but it's second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Stafford throw here, hauled in by Cup. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing a Stafford. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. From the 29, Stafford. Looking sideline, incomplete. The Rams 
Eagles and Cardinals, they met three times a season ago. They each won in the other's building in the regular season. The Cardinals 37 to 20 in week four, and the Rams in week 14 on Monday night would win it 30 to 23. And then, of course, they would also meet in the first ever Monday night wild card game, the final game of the first Super Wild Card weekend. And the Rams kicked off their title run with a 34 to 11 win at SoFi. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again to Stafford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Here's Stafford. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Stafford now to throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Fourth down, and we go from one mat to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. To the made field goal. Gay back out there to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. now on first down caught by the tight end Ertz and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line now the card's going to call another timeout their second as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two First down, Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside.
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Murray. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Throwing again, Murray. He's going to look deep in zone for Hopkins. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Holding offense. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Murray now. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. A partner guaranteed they approach this point with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they're going to get this up to midfield. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. Greg Dorch returning, taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? And which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing now is Murray. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. 
And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Murray now to throw. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Murray again. This is Connor. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw is Murray. Well, on the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Shotgun now for Murray. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw. And nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Connor going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Now Murray off play action. Rolling to his right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a three-yard touchdown run. And the cards are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And that'll make it 
So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second and six, just inside the 30. Henderson running straight ahead, looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Yeah, go to try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there. Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a handoff. Henderson. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 12 more yards there and another first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game and they find a way to be successful with it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Stafford. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second down, it's Henderson. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Here's Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Van Jefferson, 34 yards. And the Rams are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that's 
certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So, unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The football going back over to Arizona now. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Fourth quarter, every drive is so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You can have the first one for the second one to even matter. On second down, Connor looking for space. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. On first and ten, here's Murray. On the right side, caught by Green. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down, Murray. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch, he was able to keep the feet inbounds. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's made the decision to reach for a red flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. Murray now on first down. Green's got it over the middle. 
And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Screen pass to Connor. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Rondell Moore, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. Darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. to throw, it's Murray. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Now Murray's got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score games still. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll give this to Henderson. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because... That's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. On second down, back to Henderson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion.
Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense, down by 12, just over a minute, 40 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. now on first down and incomplete a drop there in the middle third of the field that'll bring up second down but well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters so I expect it to get any easier now you know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything and they force an incompletion there second and ten now from the 27 Murray going to throw and this will be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Murray. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. They're going for it. It's Murray. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. Henderson now on first and ten. Well, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Again, it's Henderson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. Second and goal from the sixth this time. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Go, 
So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.